okay, it's time for me to film an update. Can you can you hear that in the background? This is hang on. All right, most of that noise is over. Sorry, I could hear it whether you could or not. So, uh, yeah, it's been a really long time since I've done an update. Uh, I've got a few things. Oh, I've got all kinds of things to share. Uh, so, <laughs> funny thing, I, I, I got a comment uh, from Billy Pipes yesterday saying, Hey, what's going on? How are you? Haven't seen you. Uh, which, you know, a little shame. That's good for me. It's, it's exactly what I need. Uh, I've had the same discussion with my parents of, Hey, how come you're not doing videos? And so, you know, I, I told them I would do a video on why I haven't done videos. So why haven't I done videos? I don't know. There's lots of things I have been doing. Uh, made a barn door. Um, this is a better part of Christmas week I spent building barn doors. I been putting in some fencing. Just a little bit of it. Cutting down and clearing trees and stuff. So, yeah, those are all just excuses. Uh, th the reality is, there's just a lot of other things that uh, that I've been doing. I play a lot of golf clash while sitting uh, watching TV. Um, it's a little more social than watching fish videos. I can watch TV with my wife and play golf clash. Well, so yeah, things have shifted. Uh, we do nightly walks uh, to the barn to check on the horses instead of uh, in the past. So I used to do my updates while my wife was going up and checking the horses. So now I walk with her and the dogs and we all go check horses together. So let me tell you quickly what's going on here. So coral wise, I've moved a couple of things around. Uh, I've lost more stuff. So all of the, the shards of the, the Montes are still there. I haven't, you know, maybe I should just scrape those things off so I don't have to talk about them next time. They're still there. The, uh, the Duncans back here was, seemed like it was struggling pretty badly, uh, but it seems like it's okay now. It's, it's gotten fluffy. We'll see if it starts uh, sprouting some new heads. I've moved around some hammers. Uh, this hammer down here is doing okay, except I've got vermetted snails in there. Uh, so I think I'm going to break that off from where I anchored it, take the whole thing down, uh, and dip it, do it, uh, do a pass with the, with the bear dip and see if I can kill those guys off, scrape them off. I've taken a, a Dremel to them in the pass downstairs. I've got, uh, Mahano anemones coming in, which I've studied up on. Yeah, I know I got to get rid of them. Uh, so there's a couple there. There's a couple up there. Uh, I don't know. Can I inject them with lemon juice? I don't have any calc because I don't dose calc. But maybe I should just get that just specifically to inject with those. Um, that's about it. Bubble down here is kicking it. Doing really well. Um, so fish-wise, all the fish are happy. I haven't lost a fish since June. And that's good. I've got two in QT downstairs. I'll show you in a moment. I've got a lot of Astrina starfish, so perhaps it's time to uh, pick up one of those shrimp that eats those guys, what is a harlequin? Um, I've got like a crap load of those in the frag tank downstairs, so maybe that's the thing to do. That's about it uh, going on here. So a lot of corals have died. Uh, I haven't brought up anything, but I have new lights and I'll uh, post unboxings and, and show you all that uh, in, in a coming video as to what I've got for lights. You can see it's a little different and uh, hopefully I've got a lot more par in the tank and that will help grow some corals. All right, I have to take them out now that I've fed them and then I'll pick up with the downstairs couple months and very little has changed down here. I'm running the same basic setup. I'm still hand dosing. I haven't, uh, I actually own a doser and I haven't installed it. Again, it's, you know, I just haven't done that stuff. Um, same basic filtration. Uh, this guy does well. Uh, sucking stuff out of the water for me. I, I do my filter uh, 
from the overflow upstairs. Refugium, uh, same problems I've had in the past. All my macro has disappeared. Uh, but yeah, whatever, I'll get some more and try it again. I have to put in better lights. That's the same thing that I had to do all the way along. And what I'm gonna do on that, I'm actually gonna build uh, something to hang them off of uh, up here. So that's on my list. I did go through and uh, play with some uh, acrylic uh, from a long time ago and made covers for uh, this to try to cut down on my evaporation. Um, you know, the acrylic uh, flexes and it bends when it gets moist on one side or the other, so it's really not the best material for that, which is why I've got like extra stiffeners that I glued on. Yeah, it's kind of fun, something to play with. I have done that in the recent past. Uh, frag tank, uh, I've got stuff ready to come upstairs, right? So now that I've got the new lights, this is all uh, stuff from Chris. This, uh, I guess it's a stylo maybe? I don't know. Um, I need to clip off some of the dead stuff on the bottom there, but I think uh, maybe I've got lights to do stuff down there. Yeah, I gotta clean this all up and, and sort of start clean again on the on the frag tank down here. Again, more Mahanos, and I've got Aptasia down here. So, you know, I, I gotta make sure that none of that goes upstairs, although it's probably in the system, so I could probably get around. So I gotta start killing that stuff. Yeah, all of that. Let me show you what I got in QT. So these guys are ready to come out. Actually, they were ready to come out Thursday, and I was traveling, so. I got a, uh, there's a social wrasse back here. They've both been eating quite well. And a leopard wrasse. So these are the first two wrasses I've had. I haven't, I haven't had any more. Um, the leopard was really sort of slow to get accustomed in here. I had the dish of gravel for it to hide in. I don't think it's done anything in there in a month. So. We'll see how they acclimate uh, into the tank upstairs. I've done sort of my standard acclimation process or uh, QT process. They got prosyprode at the beginning. Uh, they went through hypo and they're back to full salinity at this point. Uh, and and the, as I'm bringing them back up in salinity, what I do is I, I basically bring in water uh, from the main system. So I do water changes out of their QT system uh, I'll drain out of things down here and then basically bring them back up to regular salinity with the main, with water out of my main system. So they shouldn't really need a lot of acclimation going into the main system. Maybe a little bit of temperature just to make sure that things are matched, uh, but beyond that they should be okay. But that's about it. Uh, so that's what's going on around here. And sorry, I haven't had much to show, but I, I've got stuff to talk about. I always do. So. It's time for me to get back into the video game and, uh, and put out some more material. So, for those of you that have been wondering where I'm at, I'm doing fine. Um, just haven't been making a lot of videos. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like, comment, or subscribe if you'd like to see more in this series.